parents. They are seeing children with mental and physical injuries as a direct result of these online platforms. Under the EU's Digital Services Act, online platforms are already being investigated. Minister, obviously nobody is going to disagree that children being exposed to harmful content online is a problem, but you and I both know that that's only part of regulations uh, that are contained within the Digital Services Act. Uh, the DSA also seeks to regulate alleged misinformation and hate speech, which is significantly more controversial with the general public on free speech grounds. So isn't it quite cheap and cynical to put forward something that we all agree with, namely the protection of children, and use that as a Trojan horse to regulate speech on social media, which almost nobody agrees with. Uh, thanks, Ben. With the, the group I'm putting together and the awareness campaigns that uh, I'm funding and the, the additional work that I'm funding for Cyber Safe Kids uh, is very clearly and explicitly around keeping children safe online. And I think, Ben, from a from a from, from a freedom of speech perspective, uh, I think, as Alex and I said earlier on, the objective here is to create a safe online environment. I think a safe online environment is a, is, is a, is a stronger place for, for, for free speech. You know, so uh, I firmly believe in free speech. We live in a, you know, we live in, a, in an open democracy. I think what would be... Uh, what would be harmful to free speech, what would curtail free speech, is having environments where children are not safe, right? So sure. I, I certainly well, I, think... I, that, I, total, I, think, I totally, I I totally can see the child, the child point is absolutely, you know, child protection is, of course, as I say, we all are, I'm, I'm a parent, you know, I understand. But again, we're talking about the DSA and should the state have a role in regulating what information is true and false or... Is, is somebody's speech hateful or not? That's a totally different issue to what we're talking about. So do you not understand why some people would say these regulations, while the child protection issue, totally agree on that, no problem there, that there's a more uh, insidious uh, undertone to it when it comes to civil liberties? I don't think there is. I, I, I think they're two quite different discussions, and I think they're two very important discussions. So I, I think we're in agreement on the child safety aspects and I think there is a very important and live and ongoing discussion to be had around uh, freedom of speech uh, and, and, and a balance in terms of protecting people on, on, online. So if you know, somebody posts something clearly false and very damaging about you and uses AI content to, to make it look very real, you, know, the, the, you speaking words that you've never spoken, saying things that you've never said, would that person argue, well, it's my free speech to but, put but to... We, to, we already to, have to, defamation to laws. I mean, that's, that's defamation, is it not? I mean, we've had that forever. That's always been a part of... Well, of I, like, we have a defamation, but I, I, I think going back to something we were talking about earlier on, there seems, there seems to be a, a, a wild west with the online platforms. So the, the journalists, yourself and the journalists in this room, there are very clear protections in place that, that, that you're all aware of. But that doesn't apply, you know? Uh, I mean, if, if, if any of you published things that we could all find in 10 seconds on Twitter or whatever, you'd, you'd, be, you'd, you'd be shut down, right? And so, I, I, of course, we need free speech. And look, Ireland does well. We have a good track record on free speech. It's not perfect anywhere, but um, we do have to make sure that People are, people are safe online. The today, this morning is about young people being safe online, but I, I think if people were posting false things and really damaging things about you on online platforms, I think you would have a reasonable right to say, hang on a second, they, they, can, can this just go unfettered? As, as I say, I think I, think I could under, under defamation law. I might just ask real quickly, what is your definition of free speech, Minister, if you don't mind me asking? How, how would you define oh, that? That's a, it's a much, that's a much longer conversation, Ben. One, one, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have with you, but probably... Probably this isn't the forum for that.